Guess what we're going to do? We're going to go on a bug hunt. So I've got my trusty magnifying glass and I've also got a, a jar to catch the bugs in. So here we go. And it's an echo song. And if you were at school, you'd be singing it with me. I say it first, you say it second. So guess what? Mr. Freer is going to help me and you can help Mr. Freer. So when he sings, you sing. We're going on a bug hunt. We're going on a bug hunt. We're going to catch lots of bugs. We're going to catch lots of bugs. I'm not scared. I'm not scared. What a sunny day. What a sunny day. Are you ready? Are you ready? Let's go. Let's go. Oh, do you see what I see? Do you see what I see? A little ladybug. A little ladybug. Oh, do you see the ladybug, the ladybug, the ladybug? Ladybug has one spot, one black spot on. Ladybug has two spots, two spots, two spots. Ladybug has two spots, pretty ladybug. Ladybug has three spots, three spots, three spots. Ladybug has three spots, pretty ladybugs. Oh, now I'm going to add two more. Oh, now how many does she have? Ladybug has five spots, five spots, five spots. Ladybug has five spots, pretty ladybug. Oh, I'm going to add two more. Now how many does she have? Ladybug has seven spots, seven spots, seven spots. Ladybug has seven spots, pretty ladybug. One more. Now how many? Ladybug has eight spots, eight spots, eight spots. A ladybug has eight spots, pretty ladybug. Now, do you know what? This is a song about what the ladybugs really do. They are helpful bugs, helpful insects. So sometimes we call them insects, that's a scientist's name, but sometimes we just call them bugs. Ladybugs are in my yard, just look at them devour those pesky, pesky aphids on the leaves on mummy's pretty flowers. Never hunt a ladybug. We have them in our garden. Ladybugs help flowers grow, so we must never hurt them. So it's true. If you collect a ladybug and you put it in your jar, then let it go. So this is a song that's so much fun to do, and this is what it sounds like. Poor little bug in the jar. No one to love him at all. No one to wash his clothes. No one to tickle his toes. Poor little bug in the jar. Now when we sing this song, I like to do different kinds of voices because it's fun to pretend. So right now we're going to pretend we're the baby. Mwah, mwah. Poor little bug in the jar. Wah, wah. No one to love him at all. Wah, wah. No one to wash his clothes. No one to tickle his toes. Poor little bug in the jar. Wah, wah. Now can we use our daddy voice? Because it's going to be Father's Day. Poor little bug in the jar. No one to love him at all. No one to wash his clothes. No one to tickle his toes. Poor little bug in the jar. Now, could we use a scared voice? Oh no. Poor little bug in the jar. No one to love him at all. No one to wash his clothes. No one to tickle his toes. Poor little bug in the jar. We're going to do one more voice. What other voice could we use? Could we use a nice mummy voice? Poor little bug in the jar. No one to love him at all. No one to wash his clothes. No one to tickle his toes. Poor little bug in the jar. Okay. So we'll work on those songs this week. That will be fun to do. Those are some of the concert songs I had planned. Look at our story. It's an Eric Caro book, and it's called The Grouchy Ladybug. So what zone is grouchy? Grouchy is usually the blue zone or the red zone. I think this, this guy, I think, is in the red zone. 
Look at his face. Whoa, he's got a sad face. Oh, and did Eric Carl do finger painting? And you can see his fingers are everywhere. It's okay to get messy. So look, here's a picture of the aphid. We sang about the aphids on our um, song. Aphids are really small insects. They suck the juice from leaves and then the leaves die. Ladybugs eat aphids. That's good for trees, shrubs, and other plants that have leaves. So he says, to the ladybugs, I have dedicated this book. Three cheers for them. So see when they fly, there's their wings. There, they're fluttering. We learned that insects have six parts, head and thorax, abdomen, abdomen, head and thorax, abdomen, abdomen, antenna, and six legs, two, and the wings, two wings, antenna, and six legs, two. It was night, and some fireflies danced around the moon. I love watching fireflies. At five o'clock, so here's a little clock right here. That says five o'clock. In the morning, the sun came up. A friendly ladybug flew in from the left. It saw a leaf with many aphids on it and decided to have them for breakfast. But just then a grouchy ladybug flew in from the right. It too saw the aphids and wanted them for breakfast. So we're looking at this, this is the left and this is the right. Good morning, there's her word, said the friendly ladybug. Go away! Oh my, said the grouchy ladybug. I want these aphids. We can share them, suggested the friendly ladybug. No, they're mine, all mine, screamed the grouchy ladybug. Or do you want to fight me for them? If you insist, answered the friendly ladybug sweetly. It looked the other ladybug straight in the eye. The grouchy ladybug stepped back. It looked less sure of itself. Oh, you're not big enough to fight, it said. Then why don't you pick on somebody bigger? I'll do that screeched the grouchy ladybug. I'll show you. It puffed off and off he flew, it puffed up. So look, there's the time, six o'clock. That's one hour later, still early in the morning. At six o'clock, it met a yellow jacket. That's a kind of wasp. Hey, you, said the grouchy ladybug. Wanna fight? If you insist, said the yellow jacket. Oh, you're not big enough, the grouchy ladybug said and flew off. So you can see where the sun's coming up. It's rising a little higher. So now it's seven o'clock. At seven o'clock, it met a stag beetle. Hey, you, said the grouchy ladybug. Want a fight? If you insist, said the stag beetle, opening its jaws. Oh, you're not big enough, the grouchy ladybug said, and off it flew. What do you, who's, who's bigger? I don't know, that grouchy ladybug isn't thinking. Oh, now it's eight o'clock. At eight o'clock, it came across a praying mantis. Hey, you, said the grouchy ladybug, want to fight? If you insist, said the praying mantis, reaching out with its long front legs. Oh, you're not big enough, said the grouchy ladybug, and off it flew. So what number comes after seven? Or, what, sorry. We're at, we're at eight. What it comes after eight? Nine. So now it's nine o'clock. That's when the morning children start school is nine o'clock. At nine o'clock, it almost flew into a sparrow. That's a bird. Hey, you, said the grouchy ladybug. Want to fight? If you insist, said the sparrow, opening its sharp beak. Oh, you're not big enough, said the grouchy ladybug, and off it flew. So after nine comes ten. At 10 o'clock, it saw a lobster. Hey, you, said the grouchy ladybug, want to fight? If you insist, said the lobster, stretching out its claws. Oh, you're not big enough, said the grouchy ladybug and flew off. What's after 10? <gasps> 11. Who's that? Is that who sprayed Reggie and Arnie the skunk? 
At 11 o'clock, it bumped into a skunk. Hey, you, said the grouchy ladybug, want to fight? If you insist, said the skunk, starting to lift its tail. Oh, no, that's going to be stinky. Oh, you're not big enough, said the grouchy ladybug, and off it flew. So after 11 is 12 o'clock. That's when the morning class goes home. At 12 o'clock, 12 noon, it spotted a boa constrictor. Oh dear, that's a big snake. Hey you, said the grouchy ladybug, want to fight? If you insist, said the snake, right after my lunch. Can you see? He's trying to get that little squirrel. Oh, you're not big enough, said the grouchy ladybug and flew off. So it's after 12 on a clock is one o'clock and that's when the afternoon friends start school at one o'clock it happened upon a hyena hey you said the grouchy ladybug want to fight if you insist said the hyena laughing eerily and showing its teeth oh you're not big enough said the grouchy ladybug and flew off that's after one Two. Today was number one on our calendar. <gasps> At two o'clock, it met a gorilla. That, that gorilla is definitely bigger than that ladybug. Hey, you, said the grouchy ladybug, want to fight? If you insist, said the gorilla, beating its chest. <laughs> oh, you're not big enough, said the grouchy ladybug and flew off. So it's after two o'clock. <gasps> Three o'clock. Oh my, what is that? Is that a rhino? At three o'clock, it ran into a rhinoceros. Hey, you, said the grouchy ladybug, want to fight? If you insist, said the rhinoceros, lowering its horn. Oh, you're not big enough. Look how big it is compared to that grouchy ladybug. And off flew the ladybug. So what's after three o'clock? Four o'clock, and that's when the afternoon children go home. At four o'clock, it encountered an elephant. Hey, you, even the woods are getting bigger, said the grouchy ladybug, look, he's way over here. Want to fight? If you insist, said the elephant, raising its trunk and showing its big tusks. Oh, you're not big enough, said the grouchy ladybug and flew off. That ladybug is so grouchy, he's not thinking straight at all, or she. At five o'clock, it met a whale. Whales are the biggest mammals on the planet. Hey, you, said the great grouchy ladybug, want to fight? But the whale did not answer at all. You're not big enough anyway, said the grouchy ladybug, and flew off. After about 15 minutes, at 5.15, the grouchy ladybug said to one of the whale's flippers, hey, you want to fight? But it got no answer, so it flew on. It doesn't even know it's still on the whale. At 5.30, that's half an hour later, the grouchy ladybug said to the whale's fin, hey, you want to fight? But it got no answer, so it flew on. At quarter to six, the grouchy ladybug said to the whale's tail, hey, you want to fight? And the whale's tail gave the grouchy ladybug such a slap, watch, slap, <gasps> that it flew across the sea and across the land. Now it's six o'clock. At six o'clock, the grouchy ladybug arrived back right where it had started. Ah, oh, here you are again, said the friendly ladybug. You must be hungry. There are still some aphids left. You can have them for dinner. Oh, thank you, said the wet, tired, and hungry ladybug. You're welcome. Soon all the aphids were gone. Thank you, said the leaf. You are welcome, answered both the ladybugs, and they went to sleep. The fireflies, who had been sleeping all day, came out to dance around the moon. The end.
So you can join me. You can turn this off and then join me. We're going to make ladybugs for art.